Bam! Florence Pugh stone cold stunners Olivia Wilde, and Harry Styles drops a goat on Chris Pine's lap. Is that the plot of Don't Worry Darling? Absolutely not. But it would have been a thousand times better if it was. The first act of this movie felt boring, monotonous, and messy and disorganized, but that's not to take away from Florence Pugh's acting performance. She was phenomenal. She actually carried this entire movie, I felt. I think why so many people anticipated this movie was because of the drama that was happening behind the scenes. Florence Pugh having drama with Olivia Wilde and not doing the press tour. Olivia Wilde sleeping with Harry Styles and a bunch of other shit that went on. I get that this is a mystery thriller, but the movie suffers because too much is withheld from the audience. The audience needs to be teased. You know, you need to be given a little bit of inf some information of the plot to keep them intrigued or else it's going to be boring. It isn't until the third act, and I'd say about an hour and a half in, you know, the last 30 minutes, when the pacing ramps up and things start getting intriguing and there's twists in the movie. Honestly, that pacing that they had in that last hour and a half should have been the entire movie. Or they could have just cut out a lot of things and made it a shorter film. But there's problems with the ending as well. It almost feels like the filmmakers realized they had a messy movie and they try to fix it in the end. There's a lot of plot points in the movie that are left unfinished and unexplained. Like the plane that Florence's character sees and that everybody's saying that she's hallucinating. This character killing Chris Pine even though she was fiercely loyal to him. And what the hell happened to Margaret's character? A lot is left unexplained like the shits after a day of drinking. Like, what the fuck was I drinking? Speaking to Harry Styles, look, I don't think he's a bad actor. There's a lot of that going around in the internet. There's an explanation as to why he was switching from British English to American English. But I felt like it was kind of a cop out. Like I said, he's not a bad actor, but I feel like he should have put a little more effort in doing the accents right. Oh, I wonder if there were reshoots last minute and they were, the filmmakers were just trying to explain as to why Harry Styles was switching from British English to American English and why the last 30 minutes of the movie feels so vastly different from the rest of the movie. All in all, I felt that this movie was incomplete and a bit messy. I liked the premise of the movie, I just wished it was executed a little better. I liked the aesthetic of the movie, that 1950s suburbia home feel. I liked Florence Pugh's fantastic acting performance. I liked the last 30 minutes of the movie. And part of what appeals me to this movie was the drama that was going on behind the scenes. But that's really it. So don't worry, darlings, have you seen it? Let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be posting more reviews like this one. Or not. What the fuck do I know? I'm just a housewife who's being held against her will in this fantasy world. Oh,